Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my niece, Nisha, and I'm doing her closure quick weave. We just got some hair from the beauty supply, and I'm just taking um, some Got To Be Free spray, and I'm just spraying her edges down and brushing them back. Her mother braided her hair like that. Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> she braided it wrong. I don't know why. I guess because it was late when she braided it, but anyway, I'm just um, combing her edges back. And I'm going with my blow dryer and the comb to like make sure that they're completely pushed back. And then I put the stocking cap on, let the let it dry. And I'm cutting the excess cap off right now. She's closing up. Come to visit me. She said that she the lonely Okay, so with the closure, you don't have to have the cap glued completely down. I just need it down in the area where i'm um gonna be laying the closure and that's just a beauty supply closure they actually finessed us and gave us the wrong closure but since it was sunday when i was doing this i just had to go ahead on and go with that but it actually worked out uh fine but that's not the closure that was supposed to come with the hair and we didn't see it until later on so i'm just going in with some uh, maybelline fit me foundation and i'm just putting it on the areas where there is lace and then I'm just spraying it with a little bit of a got to be free spray, combing the hair back so that none of the hair is flying away. And also spraying the back of the closure. Okay, here I'm just laying the closure down so I can see how how much glue I need to add. I'm just using that Janet Collection, Janet Collection Isha waterproof glue on her. I did two videos about this glue, and the glue is really good. So I'm just um Put it on and this glue you only have to put one coat it's pretty thick so you don't need a whole lot of uh of extra layers you just need like one or two layers and you're good to go it's waterproof and it's not gonna come out so anyway i just pre-cut the lace and i'm just going to lay the uh, closure down now this closure only has lace um in a t-shape so it's only like down the part and like right in the very front is where you'll see the um the actual lace that you can like part through or whatever so it's just like a t-shape where they have the actual lace and here i'm just gonna pull out the area where i'm gonna um, put her baby hair i'm actually gonna go in and pluck it a little bit and um you know make it look a little bit more natural and then here i'm just putting a black wrapping strip on and i'm just gonna go in and so the closure down now her her braids was braided wrong so i'm gonna have to sew those braids together so everything will be flat but i'm just starting um from the back and i'm just sewing down toward the face and i always sew down my closures even if it's a quick weave because this is going to be a quick weave impression you open we should be close to friends if you open engaging you on my agenda request my chariot get ya the doors open okay so here i'm just um like wrapping the closure in a little bun just to get it out of the way because i've completed um sewing it down And I'm just turning her to the back. I'm just gonna double track this first um, first bag of her. And she dyed her hair herself. She dyed it like a turquoise color. So it's kind of like turquoise and green. It turned out really cute. And um, But yeah, I'm just going in with some 30 second glue and I'm just gonna um, lay some tracks down in the nape area first and then up to the sides. Open 
Okay, here so I start bringing the tracks up to her over her forehead, like the bang area. I start bringing it up and meeting the um, closure. So you just want to kind of bring it around almost in a circle and you just want to meet the closure. And so that's what I'm doing here so that the bang will fall in her face. Okay, and that last track, you want to just measure it the length uh, around the, the closure, and you just want to lay it like right up against the edge of the closure. It doesn't have to be on the closure, but you want to get it like right up to the edge of the closure. First impression. And you just want to go in with your blow dryer to make sure that the tracks are down really good and dry before you start, um, you know, manipulating them, pulling on them. So anyway, I'm just um, parting out the closure. It was already parted, but I was just making sure it was still straight. And then I'm just taking my dimming brush because that's all I could find at the time. And I'm just brushing through the hair because it got shampooed and conditioned after she colored it. So it wasn't in the state that it came. And then I'm just taking off the black wrapping strip. And also I'm going to go in and spray a little bit of got to be free spray just to control the flyaways. And I'm just straightening up the part, making sure it's completely straight. And then here I'm just combing out um, where the baby hairs are going to be and then i'm just taking the tweezers and i'm just gonna pluck it a little bit they attempted to to pre-pluck the closure but it still needed some more customizing so i just went in with the tweezers and um plucked it a little bit more we should be closer to friends if you open engaging you on my agenda request my cherry Okay, here I'm just taking some scissors and cutting the baby hair down to probably about half inch, maybe an inch, half inch. I'm going to trim them just a little bit more once I get ready to like lay them. But you can use an eyebrow archer or a razor or scissors, whatever method works best for you. I'm using scissors and then I'm just going to go in with some um, She's Bum wax stick. And I'm just putting it all over the area where the party is and right behind the baby hair. And then also I went in with some I see the Fantasia um, heat protector. I usually use um, Sally's Silk Elements, but I haven't been to a Sally's lately, so I'm using that. And I'm just using my one inch curling iron to press her part out even more to make it even flatter. And I'm just parting a little piece of it out so I can get it really, really straight. Because I don't have my pressing comb at home. And I'm not buying an electric one when I have a stove and a pressing comb at work. So once I go back to work, I'll just go back to using my pressing comb. But this, if you have a curling iron, it works just fine. <laughs> she said I burned her, but I don't believe it. And then I'm just combing through it to uh, make sure everything is laying flat. And then here I'm going in with a little bit of the got to be gel, a little black gel. You can use foam wrap if you want, especially on a glue like this one because it is a waterproof. So it's safe to use the um, Nairobi foam wrap, but I'm still going in on hers because I want it to stay with the got to be gel. And that's the one in a black container. And I'm just kind of like carving out her baby hairs where the baby hairs going to go. You can even not do baby hairs with this look if you want to. It was perfectly fine if I would have did it without the um, baby hairs. But I just went ahead and added some baby hairs. And I just trimmed that uh, baby hair just a little bit more so it wouldn't be so long. And I'm just going in with my blow dryer and drying it. And also drying where gel may have gotten on the other hair 
And then I'm just gonna continue to carve out her baby hairs. Open up, you open up. Bitch, you won't be me, We should be closer than friends. If you open up, engaging you on my agenda. Request my cherry to get ya. The doors open up. Take that high road and hop in. Open up. Okay, and I just tied it in with a black wrapping strip and she just wanted to show off her colored it um her colored hair what color it was it's like an aquamarine looking color and i'm just going in with some more of the ice fantasia heat protectant and i'm using a one inch ion curling iron the ceramic ones and i'm just doing her like some barrel curls and i'm just like sectioning it into three and four sections like it doesn't have to be like super small sections because she's just gonna wear like some large curls and you can just watch me as i finish curling her hair you open uh, we should be closer to friends uh, if you open uh, engaging is on my agenda request my cherry yet to get ya the doors open uh, take that hot road and hop in uh, minor butterflies you should open up i'm trying to put your heart together found it broken up Going up smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. Open you up like a puck ball. Open up. Tell you how for a puck ball. Let your emotions walk fall on me. Open up. Open up. Open up, you open up, bitch you won't be me and we should be closer than friends, if you open up, engaging you's on my agenda, request my cherry yet to get ya, the doors open up, take that high road and hop in, open up, open up, shut it down like a bag of open up, open up, Open up. Okay, so here I'm just cutting off her black wrapping strip. This crazy girl. Cutting off her um, black wrapping strip. And she's so silly. Oh my God. I'm just going in with a little bit of 91% alcohol. And it's definitely going to be a little bit because y'all know how scarce alcohol is right now. So we got to save what we got. So yeah, I'm just cleaning her forehead off with the um, alcohol to make sure any of that gel is not still there. And then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of oil sheen all over. I'm going to take a claw comb and I'm just going to comb the hair back away from the face first. And that hair looks really cute with the color. 
it's not a lot of color and it it looks really cute with just those big curls in there I think it's definitely appropriate for a 15 year old and so yeah I'm just combing it out with the claw comb and then just pushing it forward and I'm gonna do the same thing for this side just comb it all back comb it all back Open up. Need to reprint our conversation. Contemplation over our situation. Open up. Okay, for the bang area, I'm just gonna slightly cut it. I'm gonna take the um, scissors and like slither it or a slide cut it, and then just claw it back and push the bang forward. The doors open. This girl is crazy. She's saying that I messed her fingernail up. <laughs> She wasn't giving y'all the figure. She said I messed her feet up. Well, this is the end of the video. I hope y'all liked the video. If you did, leave a heart in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching.